Today we're in Lewis, New York. It's in the middle of the Adirondacks. We're visiting this uh, amazing nuclear missile silo that was built in the 1960s. It's been reconstructed by an architect who uh, we're very lucky to be selling or offering his property for sale. When you come into the first LCC-1, which was the old launch control center, the owner has reconditioned the LCC-1 to be his living quarters, if you will, with television sets and a little dining area and a little kitchen and a bathroom. Uh, LCC-2 is the one we're in now currently. It's turned into his sleeping areas uh, with two beds, which is very unique because uh, one would not make a mistake of hitting the snooze button versus hitting the button that could wipe the earth off this uh, world as we know it. The main silo would house the nuclear missile but it would not actually launch from within the silo itself. The steel structure that's in the silo would actually elevate the missile silo to above ground and they would launch the missile from above ground. Uh, one of the unique pieces of this property is that the silo is one of the only ones that I'm aware of that has doors that actually operate. The 70 ton door is actually controlled by a hydraulic ram uh, that looks like a yellow and black candy cane and that actually will help to raise the 70 ton door. It goes into the ground 185 feet into the main silo and it's 52 feet in diameter. These nuclear missile silos were built in the early 60s, late, late 50s. They made them in a very fast manner considering how much work was needed to be done. Uh, this actual site is an Atlas F nuclear missile silo and it probably cost today's dollar $150 million to build uh, today. We've had quite a few inquiries on the property already and many of them are looking for a retreat. Some of the uses of these silos uh, otherwise could be a deep sea water diving training center, uh, could be year-round organic gardening, also could be a luxury condo high-rise underground 185 feet. Currently we're asking $750,000. When you drive into the driveway now, it looks like a very low-key place, but there was a lot of maintenance to be done. And the thing that we like about this property is there's no curb appeal necessary. Mm -hmm.